Hiya, Cat Cool here, back again with another tutorial. I've been doing a lot of um, trap modding recently um, with um, a set of Corsa. <clears throat> and uh, somebody asked me to make a video for them uh, showing how, how to do the uh, pit boxes and start positions and, and all that sort of thing. Um, so here we are. Right, as you can see, I've already made some here. This is just a, a trap. Of somebody else's Silverstone. I'm just using this as a um, just to show how you do it, really. Um, so to make your uh, your your pit position, the first thing you do uh, once you've got your track loaded in and whatever um, is uh, you make sure you selected on create. Click on box and then cube, just like that. Right, and then all you do is you just move your mouse to wherever you want the box creating and then just create your box. Just hold the left mouse button down and just move the mouse and it will create the box for you. Um, and then you can just uh, spin it round to make it so it looks like it's reasonably in the right position. Um, and then and then move it up. Now, when you're doing uh, boxes for the pit lane, they need to be of a certain height. If you look at these ones I've already done, um, they're a lot higher than this one. If you don't put them high enough, uh, you could just use the arrows here to move it into position. Um, if you if you don't move the uh, the box high enough in the uh, in the pit lane then you'll get um, a lot of strange things happening in a set of course when you uh, bring it in. Um, like the car will have wheels missing and uh, all that sort of thing. Now, you only need to create actually one box because once you've done that, uh, you can actually clone it, which we will get to in a moment. I'll show you how to do that. Um, but anyway, that's the first box. Um so the next thing we need to do is give it a texture otherwise a set of Corsa um won't be won't be very happy it'll just close it'll say that this item doesn't have a texture and and all that so uh, we need to click up to rendering and then material editor and compact material editor and then what we'll do is we're clicking one of these empty ones. I've already got one assigned for my other boxes there. But uh, if you click on one of these that's empty. And then click on this box here which says get material. And then it will come up with this. If you slide it right down you'll see the textures that are for your track. Um, there's one here, fence B. That looks, uh, that looks nice and plain-ish. Um, if you double click that. And then it'll appear in here. And then all you do is you click this button here that says assign material to selection. Just like that. And then you can close those. And then what you need to do then is to obviously name it. Now, uh, you can see here my naming. These are the start points, obviously. These are the pit boxes. And these are the timing gates. You can use these boxes for the timing gates, for, um, you know, pit boxes, start positions, anything. But anyway, we'll name this one um, A, C, underscore, uh, pit, underscore. Well, we'll name this 2, but if you're starting off, you'll name it 0. It goes 0, 1, 2, 3. And it is important to have them in capital letters. Uh, that's how Assetto Corsa needs it to be. Um, so anyway, you've named that. That's fine. That's done. Right. So say you want another pit box uh, next to it. Um, so all you would do then is uh, just make sure this yellow yellow square in the middle's uh, lit up and then you just right click the mouse and go down to clone 
and then it'll come up with this box and you click on copy and then you would go to and and just name it say number three like that and then click OK and then what will happen is if if you click these arrows to move it about you'll see we've got another box <clears throat> you could uh, you, you know you can keep going with that and make as many pit boxes as you, as you really need um, also you could just uh, clone it again um, hang on I'll do it right <laughs> um, clone it again and then you could also name this I don't know maybe uh, your start position uh, start and then we'd want this as number two but obviously you start off on zero um, do that and then you can click the green and that clones it again and you just move it into position where you want it you know the, there's the start positions on this particular circuit maybe grey is not exactly the best colour to be using um, but uh, you know you get the general idea I mean that's actually not in the right position is it but that might be um, but yeah you get the general gist that's gone too low down now it's underneath the circuit you can see um, you get the general idea um, and I mean the other thing you could do if if this window's a bit too small for you uh, you can also click this plus button here and click the maximize to make it a lot bigger so it's a lot easier to see what you're doing um, and that's basically it I mean the timing gates same sort of thing and uh, these boxes they'll appear in uh, AC editor uh, the editor with a set of Corsa uh, but they won't appear in the game um, because the game realizes what they are and and therefore they're hidden um, so that's basically it that's how you how you create pit boxes uh, start points um, and um, and timing gates for a set of course so I mean the timing gates are pretty much you know they're the same they just got to be named correctly uh, obviously this one uh, it's either side of the um, of the start line and maybe not exactly aligned perfectly at the moment the ones I've got but uh, yeah that's pretty much it um, and then you just keep going along and naming them all put a, put as many pit boxes as you require you know in there um, yeah and that's pretty pretty much it um so that's the end of this tutorial many thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and comment and uh, follow me on instagram and twitter the links are in the description uh catch you next time.